Over 100 healthcare professionals and their families and guests gather to celebrate the Christmas brunch and the Armenian American Health Professionals Organization 2018 achievements held at Waterside Restaurant in New Jersey overlooking the Hudson River and with a stunning view of Manhattan. Oppo's president, Dr. Lawrence Najarian, offered champagne toast for the organization's 25 years of continuous success. In short remarks, the former president of the Armenian Engineers and Scientists of America, Hovanes Magdirosyan, spoke about the Armenian doctors and engineer programs. And Dr. John Belezikian summarized Oppo's involvement in the Armenian Heritage Cruise every winter. This year's Christmas brunch honored one of their own for his outstanding service, Dr. Garbis Baidar, longtime Apple's treasurer. The healthcare professional we're honoring today is really a very quiet force and doesn't know that th this person is going to receive the award. Uh, he really embodies the motto that Apple has always here to help. Uh, this person really never seeks the limelight. Uh, but his efforts is always omnipresent. Uh, our awardee has participated in Oppo uh, since it was a twinkle in the eyes of our founder, Corin Nalbandian, in the late 1980s. What's remarkable, truly remarkable to me, having interacted with so many of you and kind of eavesdropping on so many different lives and issues, is that his dedication to our mission is steadfast over 30 years, despite the many, many challenges life poses. You know, if we just look back at our own lives, what we've faced over the last 30 years, there are many opportunities for us to gracefully bow out and dedicate more time to our family and friends. Yet this doctor has done just the opposite. Instead of bowing out, uh, he's taken on more leadership roles and more responsibility and made innovative uh, ideas to this organization. So how do we describe this physician? Well, it's always good to go to Google and find out what's about people. Uh, they say that uh, his overall patient rating is great and he's earned five stars. They describe his attitude as very positive. In 2017, he was on the roll of one of the top docs in Bergen County. So ladies and gentlemen, it is really a distinct pleasure to announce this year's award winner, Dr. Garbis Baydar. A little bit about Garbis. Uh, you know, Garbis is really amazing. It's like peeling an onion. Uh, the more you peel, uh, the more you realize there's lots of depth to him. Uh, he grew up in Turkey uh, under very humble circumstances. Uh, his aptitude for medical science was recognized early. Uh, and his family made sacrifices to send this budding young scientist to Vienna, where he had to learn German and then go to the University of Vienna Medical School where he graduated with distinction. Uh, it wasn't easy. You know, here he is from Turkey learning a new language. Uh, how do you pay for medical school? Well, believe it or not, our Dr. Bader was a street vendor. Uh, he used to import trinkets from Turkey and sell them on weekends to support his medical school habit. Uh, from Vienna, he, we're very fortunate he made his way to this area of New Jersey where he did a pediatric residency and ultimately was the chief resident at St. Joseph's Medical Center. Uh, he then established his practice at Englewood Pediatrics over 30 years ago uh, and has been serving the community with distinction ever since. Uh, he's on the staffs of Englewood and Holy Name Hospitals as well as Hackensack University Medical Center and has uh, chaired the Department of Pediatrics for over 15 years at Holy Name Hospital. Uh, his interest in children and adolescents really takes him to really great places that has helped the community, particularly through his board work at the Hope Nanyan School. Thank you very much for doing that. He uh, has uh, initiated our mentoring program, uh, which is now in its eighth year, uh, which has helped countless students find their way. Uh, he's participated and was a founder in our uh, mission, early missions. Uh, and he's also found residency positions as well as um, jobs for some people who are sitting in this room today. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's really a distinct honor to have Dr. Garby Spader and his family with us today to receive this year's award.
Uh, I think last year, uh, 2018, uh, was an extremely successful year and what we're seeing is the fruition of a lot of programs uh, reaching maturity uh, and uh, our collaborations with our sister organizations are really taking off. Uh, we're committed uh, to medical education and to mentorship and we were very proud to announce the start of our first medical scholarship uh, for anyone going into the healthcare professions. Uh, we have continued and increased the number of students who we've helped mentor throughout the uh, medical uh, application process, whether it be to nursing school, pharmacy school, medical school. Uh, we've helped assist people with residency training uh, and also finding jobs. Uh, so we're very proud of that. Uh, in addition, our medical education to the Armenian community uh, has continued under the able leadership of Dr. Ketch Durian. Uh, we're doing these medical workshops where we reach uh, parishioners, uh, 50 to 75 parishioners we talk with in a casual setting and give them medical advice. We've had more uh, calls to our emergency hotline asking for urgent consultations and referrals. Uh, our TV show continues uh, on Raku uh, under the able leadership of Voice of Armenians. And then we have our uh, email that goes out. It's just very informative. And I would urge anyone listening, if they would like to get on, subscribe to our email, there's no charge. Uh, it's info at oppo.org. That's info at aahpo.org. Uh, just send us an email, and we would love to have you have a subscription to our newsletter, which comes out weekly. Our projects in Armenia are really working out. Our medical mission team is preparing to do its sixth medical mission uh, in six years. Uh, our mission program first started back in 2011 and is really taking off. Uh, so if there's anyone listening that would like to participate in the medical mission, please let us know. And again, you can reach us at info at oppo.org. Our CME program in Armenia has now trained over 70% of the doctors in Arsak, and uh, a number of those doctors are now gone for the second and third and maybe even fourth time. Uh, this is a very, very important program that we're extremely proud of. Um, these doctors are trained in computer literacy, so they learn how to acquire medical information. Uh, they're then given medical skills and taught medical skills for a month and they go back to their villages where they in turn treat thousands of patients every year. So this is a very impactful program. Uh, I have a relative in Armenia who is the beneficiary of this program. One of the doctors we trained uh, gave very sage advice and uh, knew uh, what was available, the best treatments, and actually advised this patient to go abroad for their treatment, uh, whereas this patient may not have received the appropriate treatment in the past. So again, this is uh, an extraordinary program of medical information sharing. Uh, we buttress this with our continuing uh, program through Skype where we do lectures uh, to about 10 centers in Armenia and Arsakh and um, we're very proud and hopefully we'll, uh, this program will morph into a really modern telehealth, telemedicine type program. Uh, membership remains strong and the spirit within our program and the youth involved in our program is growing. So as we enter our 25th anniversary year, uh, we're extremely excited and we look forward to your continued support. Uh, this is a totally 100% volunteer-oriented organization, uh, totally dependent on donations. Uh, we're a 501c3 organization and we feel we still have much, much more to do. Uh, we look forward to your support and seeing you at our gala on October 19th, 2019.